Well, it's time for part two of uh, getting in the getting the Copart 09 Impala back on the road. So let's get to it. So that's what I got up for today. I'm gonna resurface these rotors. I got a new bearing, brake pads. I'm gonna do a driveway string alignment. And I bought some implements for getting the uh, interior cleaned up. Well, we're up on four jack stands. I'm gonna start, start in on those brakes and that front wheel hub. I think what we're gonna do is, uh, we're looking at that tire on that bad rim and I think I'm gonna discard it because it's all, it's all chewed up on the inside. I don't wanna put that back on the car. I think I'm gonna go get a new rim from the boneyard to match. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put two of my winter tires on the back, move these to the front. For the time being. I'm probably just gonna time lapse doing that front bearing. I got the kid uh, out here shampooing the interior and then I'm gonna have them clean the glass and the dashboard. Eh, teenagers, you, know, you gotta micromanage them. Here we go. <laughs> the side I just worked on, the stupid <laughs> bearing that I got from the bone air is bad. I'm just glad they didn't charge me for it. I think while I'm, gonna, while I'm at it, I'm gonna try to tip the camber a little bit. And then hopefully I'll set her on the ground and uh, I'm gonna do a string string alignment. Maybe I can get this thing close so I don't need to take it into the shop. I, got, I guess my plan is ultimately, I'm gonna get new tires. These are freaking Fusions. You know, they're the Chinese house brand at Tires Plus. Um, I'm gonna get those uh, Ultimax RT43s, they're a pretty good deal. Might get them at Walmart this time around. Have Just have them shipped there and they can mount and balance them. They're at Walmart, same price as Tire Rack. Although I love Tire Rack. But I can get them mounted and balanced a lot cheaper if I just get them right stri straight from Walmart. I'll just bring the car in and I don't have to mess with it. Well, there we go, the new bearings on. And this old one, just by turning it, it is, it's munched. So, got this uh, Duralast from uh, AutoZone, just the standard one, it's 93 bucks. But uh, yeah, I busted out my uh, resurfacer kit to do the knuckle there. I'm gonna do the same with the rotors, all four of them. Thing came with sandpaper. I don't know. I might just try the red pad, see how it goes. These rollers aren't too terrible. Got the kid out here. Did a pretty good job, I gotta say. Extracting the carpets. Now I'm gonna have him uh, wash off the dash and all that. I mean, it smells pretty good in here now, too. Actually, uh, nice and clean. I'm gonna leave the headliner alone. It doesn't look bad. I mean, I know that's where most of the smells are trapped, but 
She's looking pretty good. Back rotors there. Eh, those aren't in the greatest shape, but I'm not replacing them this year. Still, uh, the words out, the verdicts out on all that Detroit axle stuff that I put on my buddy's 06 last fall. I'm gonna see how, how well they're holding up this year. I mean, it was a good price, but if the stuff doesn't last very long, then it ain't worth it to me. Not bad, huh? I think I resurfaced them real nice. Yeah, we'll roll with this. Yeah, I took a little pause and uh, my stepson is still out here cleaning. That boy did a damn good job cleaning this car up. I mean, good God, it's nice and clean. He got those windows shining. Oh yeah, you know what? I uh, I put in uh, the backup camera in here. Let's, uh, This is the one I had in my 12 Impala a few years ago. Yeah, so it's looking really good in here. Yeah, I give them some major kudos for getting it good. I got the, the shampooer out here and Gave him two cans of tough stuff, the extractor, my little drill brush. And he got the floor mats done, did all the seats, did all the windows. It smells real good in here now. So that's where I am. I'm still working on the brakes there. So I'm going to go around here and uh, time lapse this uh, other rear brake. I didn't do these two, but. Uh, it was kind of cool how I had this thing spinning around the other one actually. I'm going to set up the time lapse for this one. There's always one thing I like to do before I start doing a brake job. I got this little squeeze bottle. I've had this for probably 20 years, but it's got this nice spout and you squeeze it, stick it down in the master cylinder and it sucks all the fluid out. And then I discard it in an old oil bottle. But uh, then I put a rag up over the master cylinder with the cap off. You know, whatever's in there, I'm gonna suck out all the old shit. I just do that because when you uh, compress the pistons, it forces all the fluid back to the master cylinder. And then that way, 
You get some fresh. Get you a brand new unopened bottle of brake fluid. And then uh, top her off. I know I probably should do a flush too, but no time. And ooh, that went right to the top. Man, I was worried I was use this whole bottle up. Uh, let's see it spill. Oh, it didn't. Woo! Okay. After that, I'm going in the car and pump up the brakes. So after do that, I'll go back and I'll check the level in the master cylinder after that. See if the, oh, the rubber seal didn't pop. No, it's still right to the top. All right, golden. All right, so now I'm gonna get her down on the ground and try the old, uh, the old string alignment. Uh, before I do that, I wanna make sure my wheel is absolutely straight. Might have to turn it to the left a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, take the car, put it back on the ground. I'm gonna set a jack, to, a set of jack stands on each side of the car. I'm gonna run a string between them, and I'm gonna set the one in the back, and then bring the one in the front over until the string on the back wheel. I want to get it to where the distance, uh, let me get the camera down here. So when the string runs across the wheel, the distance from here to the string and here to the string will be the same. And then I'll know that whatever, whatever I have going up here should be, it should be a parallel line going parallel. So I can set the toe in and out on here and I'll do the same on the other side and then that'll get it dead nuts straight. And I also tried adjusting the camber on this side and it I couldn't get it to adjust down. So I'm just gonna leave it. I put the the tires that were on the back of this car up on the front and like I said I'm gonna end up getting new tires. And at that time, I'll just take it and get it aligned. Uh, maybe I'll get new shocks and struts, then take it and get it aligned for real. But I think if I get it close enough, the tires aren't going to wear unevenly. And uh, I just don't want to wear out my good winter tires. Because <laughs> my car is in perfect alignment. And I still got a couple more years left on them winter tires. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. All right, I'm way back in the corner here, but I'm trying to get in the shot where I got the two jack stands set up. And what I'm gonna do is take some twine and run it. I gotta find the end of this thing first. There we go. Run it down from one end to the other.
close up of this here. So what I'm gonna, ah, if I can steady the camera, sorry, I'm putting up the tripod here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to measure from here to the string and here to the string. And I'm gonna adjust that one until I get both of these measurements are identical. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now, made sure my wheel is absolutely straight, pointed ahead. Uh, I might wanna turn it a little to the left. It locked, I'm gonna have to go in and adjust that. But you wanna make sure you get your steering wheel pointed straight ahead. So, you gotta do both sides. So then when you have that string aligned with that back wheel, you know damn sure that this is running parallel to the car. And then you can take an adjustment or a measurement the same here, front and back, and that'll determine how far you move the tie, the tie rod in or out. And since it's here, if you move it out, it pushes the back of the tire out and vice versa. And you wanna do both sides at the same time. <laughs> yeah, and you can see that, yeah, I'm way off. I'm probably just gonna have to adjust this side, but hey, you never know. So I'm gonna go ahead and string this side up. All right, so I got it lined up. We're at six and three sixteenths. And six and three sixteenths. All right, we are lined up. So I will check and see what we got up here. Let's see that's five and eleven sixteenths there. Whoa, we're way off here. Wait, no. We're just a sixteenth off here. Yeah. 10, 11, 12, yeah. 13, oh, it's 13 sixteenths. Oh, and you know what they say? Okay, so it's two, it's a, what, an eighth, it's an eighth inch toad that way. And actually, what I've been told that that's when they set your alignment, they tow it in in the front a little bit, like an eighth of an inch. So this side is perfect. So that's how I'm gonna set the other side. I'm gonna go one eighth inch in the front, closer. Yes. So yeah, you don't want them identical up here. So this side is perfect. And I have the steering wheel centered perfectly. <laughs> So I'm gonna go set up the other side and we'll see how far off I am. All right, the back is lined up perfectly. Now, let's see how far off we are here. So in the front, I'm at four, that's four and three eighths. And over here, oh shit, we're at five and a sixteenth. We're way off. Okay, so I need to let I need to let the tie rod out that way. So man, I gotta crawl into the car with that string still there like that. Woo! And I gotta remember to keep this the front towed in about an eighth of an inch more than the back. So I got quite a bit that I have to turn. I'm gonna try crawling under here. Without jacking the car up. Shit, I hope I don't have to jack the goddamn car up. Well, <laughs> wish me luck. Alright, off tripod. I'm just gonna quick show you with the camera that I can reach under here without having to like really crawl into the car. I just laid some cardboard on the floor and like there it is right there. I mean I, my long arm long arms can reach that jam nut and the 
the flats on the tie rod end and the string is still intact so obviously I'm not going to record this because it's just a pain in the ass to have this thing sitting right here so you'll just have to take my word for it Ugh. it's always fun laying on the ground that's how you spell fun all right so I think I got her dialed in I think I have it's farther in by an eighth of an inch in the front, so we have four. So that's what a sixteenth past three quarters is. What thirteen sixteenths? Yeah, four and thirteen sixteenths. And over here we're. Four and nine sixteenths, so we are perfect. We are dialed in. So I guess the proof will be in the pudding when I go take it for a spin and see how straight it goes down the road. And uh, let me get this back up here. Show my light. I think I might have got that camber looking okay. The camber actually looks good. I think it looks good. So. Shit, I think maybe I dialed the driveway alignment pretty damn good. I guess we'll see what happens. Because right now I am not taking this to an alignment shop. I'm going to wait till after I replace the struts. Alright. Well, I probably should mention that I'm going to go crawl back under the car and tighten up the jam nut. You can't forget to do that. Don't forget to do that. All right, I'm gonna take her around the block here. Look at the brake on. Yeah, see it tracks straight, but the wheel is just a little cocked. I think what I need to do is I need to go back and uh, drive the car into the garage instead of straightening the wheel after I got it on jack stands. Cause see, well, it, hands off the wheel, it's driving perfectly straight. It's not pulling. Either that or I take the steering wheel off and move it. I don't know. But I'm gonna just go up the street a little bit up here. Went ahead and uh, I went and uh, bed in the brakes already. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I put them winter tires on the back, and man, you can hear them growling because they don't like being on the road when it's this warm out. But uh, cruise control works. Works real nice. But I think uh, I'm gonna wrap up wrap up this episode here. All in all, man, this is a really, really, really damn nice car. Really nice car. A couple little more bugs I gotta work out of it. We're gonna take a trip to the boneyard and get a new steering wheel. And then I'm gonna get another matching rim. But yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. So, uh, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you uh, comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Help support the channel. Maybe I'll have more co-part vehicles in the future. We're gonna have some more on this car. We're certainly not done doing and doing work to this one. But all in all, man, I'm really happy with this purchase. So anyway, till the next time. See you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.